this video will show you how to add two labels and change their properties using three different buttons so we're gonna start a new project and we're going to name that new project translator and make sure that we save it in the folder where our projects are saved once our form is created I'm just gonna go in there and resize it a little bit and then I'm going to add go ahead and change the text of the form to language translation so that'll be the title of my window I'm going to click on the toolkit and I'm going to add a couple of labels so I'm going to add a label in there and in the first label you can see that uh, the text of the label is label 1 and I can't seem to really resize it that is because we have set it to auto auto size is true so if we need to go in there and change auto size to false and then I can resize this label to as wide as I want it to so then um, the other thing that I want to change is the text of my label so I'm gonna go in there and the text that I want for this label is select a language to translate good morning and that's gonna be the text of this label I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to add another label drag and drop it and uh, this other label I am going to change um, a couple of properties on this one as well I'm gonna go in there and for the border style I'm going to change it to fixed single I'm also going to change the auto size also to be false and the text I am going to just erase the text so that there's no text in that label and I'm gonna hit the enter and then I can just resize this label a little bit and that's going to be my little translation window the next thing that I'm going to do is uh, let me go in there and make sure that the names for these are set to what I want them to so the one on the top I want to change that to instruction label and the one on the bottom I want to change that name that one's name to translation label hit enter the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add a couple of buttons so I'm gonna click and drag and drop a button this is gonna be my first button and uh, let's say this one is going to be Italian so I'm gonna change the text of the button to Italian and uh, <coughs> I can change the name of my button as well the name of the button is going to be uh, Italian button okay and uh, what I can do is I can copy this button right and then I can just paste it after that so I don't have to repeat the process again this time the name is going to be uh, let's say I want to do German and uh, yeah, I'll leave it at that two buttons will be good enough um, and uh, the text of the button we're gonna scroll down scroll up a little bit the text we're gonna change this one to German so the name again let's double check the name actually should be German button okay and the text of that button is uh, German so now that we have set this up what we're gonna do is we're going to write the message oh, we're not showing the whole message so let me just resize this a little bit good morning there we go 
So what I'm going to do is when I click one of these buttons, we're going to translate this message in this little label here. So I'm going to double click on my Italian button. So when it's clicked, we're going to tell it to do uh, to translate my what was the name of my button? The name of the button is translation label or the name of the label. So this is going to be translation label. And what we're going to do is we're going to change the text of that to, let's say we're going to translate this thing in Italian, which is going to be something like this. Okay. And let's see how this works. If I just test the program, press the star button, that automatically saves and run the pro runs the program. So if I hit the Italian, there it is. We have put the text in there. We're going to close the program. Um, and then a couple of other things I can do is I can go into the form and uh, I can tell it to align the text, text align instead of top left. I'm going to go and tell it to center the text. Okay, so that's the name. That's what we're going to do for the text here. Now let's tell it to translate uh, in German when I click the German button. So I'm going to double click the German button. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell it to change the translation label to something in German, which is okay. So now if I run the program, start again, and I click the German button, we have a German message. If I click the Italian, I have an Italian message.